Well, you know, I, one of the observations I always make when I watch you wrestle is that you move like a front man. Like if I feel, I feel like the way that you move in the ring is like a singer moves on the stage. You got <laughs> a different presence. The House of Black thing here is like in, insanely cool for me to, uh, as a fan for me and watching it kind of unfold and expand. And I don't want any giveaways here and I'm not looking for any kind of dirt. Was this something that was a natural thing going into AEW? Did you want this to happen? Were you envisioning something different for yourself? No, I, I think I, I very much wanted it to happen. Like, especially once Tom Malachi was released from WWE and it became more of a possibility, it was, you know, this could be really cool. There's no other tag team, maybe in history, that looks the way that we do. There's a lot of tattooed wrestlers, but there, is, there isn't, like, heavily tattooed wrestlers the two of us our styles are very much different but they also complement each other right right uh, both of us have had a lot of real life experience with getting into fights we kind of have that little grit to us as well i've always looked up to tom as well he was a mentor of mine when i started wrestling when he his time in wwe like we talked a lot and i would send him matches and he would give me notes and stuff like that so just being able to work with him he has such a creative mind for wrestling and nothing is Nothing is just basic. It, it's always elevated. Even the promos that we do at the show, we're never doing it in front of the backdrop with someone with the microphone being like, oh, what do you think about this? It, it's always like, hey, can we do it in this like weird back corner of the room that looks like a little bit industrial and like have it really dark and like ominous? He creates a lot out of nothing and, and he has like a specific vision in mind. His aesthetic matches very well with mine. There's a, there's, some differences he's very much more into like black metal and stuff like that whereas i'm more like punk and hardcore and like with some death metal but involved but it, that was musical genres are not really a far cry from each other no and, and like and, and you can pull from all of them to make this really cool creative thing a lot of stuff in my promos or my captions that i use for twitter or whatever are usually a lyric of some band so it's these little easter eggs that we plant around her i think are really cool a lot of people, I wouldn't say a lot of people, but there's some people that are like, I don't get what they're saying. I don't understand <laughs> them. Like, they have stupid tattoos. I don't like the way they look. But you know what? Just like, you know, punk and hardcore, it's not fucking meant for you. Like, this is for us, and it's for the people that get it. And, and it's not meant for, to be liked by everybody. Well, I think that's the sense of what's so real about you guys and the stable that's being built. Because, I mean, you had things there that were the darkest on the dark, like the dark order, but that, and not taken away from any one of those guys, but it's now become something a little bit more comedic, comedic, is that the word, name of the word? Comedic, yeah. 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 And which is fine, but with that name, you, you're thinking it's kind of like what you guys are doing. Does that make sense? Yeah. So as you're kind of looking forward with this, because to me, it looks like when you guys are doing promos and the vignettes that you guys do, that looks like some band shit. You know what I mean? Do you feel like because of this creative freedom that you have in AEW, and I think just across the board in professional wrestling, minus maybe one or two companies, do you feel like this kind of stuff? Yeah, because I don't think that a lot of people would understand what we were going for. The people at AEW really understand what we're going for, but it's getting, they always try to cater to, to the, to the masses, but sometimes you need to cater to, to that, that niche audience that is underrepresented and maybe doesn't have like something to really latch onto. I feel something like House of Black kind of fits the mold. On top of that, everyone individually in the group is a great wrestler. So when we have these big matches, like the one at Revolution, and we kind of just go balls to the wall. That's going to impress and, and make a fan of, out of most people, even if you didn't understand what the promos were or like what our whole look is about. Like, you're going to go, damn, those guys were awesome. All right. I'm glad you guys said all that because Buddy Matthews is the odd man out aesthetically in this group. Can we like spray some tattoos on them or something or, or just put some dirt on them? Just make them look a little grimy because like you guys were all talking about, you know, death metal and dark punk and all this stuff. He reminds me of flock of seagulls in this group. <laughs> yeah. I feel like if buddy looked just like a normal guy, it might be a little bit more jarring, but like he is so unbelievably jacked that it's like almost like, 
he I don't know of another person that really looks the way he does like you know you got like Brian Cage or like someone else but like Buddy is just this like this massive human with like the most muscle definition I've ever seen and he looks like he's going to kick the shit out of you at all times and he's unbelievably athletic absolutely we need to paint little demons on his abs or something guys <laughs> do you guys ever talk about how we're going to evolve this like is it you know because it kind of feels like more could more people could come in obviously in its own time are you guys ever talking creatively about how you're going to evolve this and make it bigger yeah i mean we're, we're always talking about like what we can do to make it more than what it is even if it's not like now but like when we haven't really discussed about like adding new people because we're just you know with buddy and i being so new to the company and i mean even malachi has only been there since august yeah. we're still trying to really establish ourselves and make the house of black like a staple in AEW because it's one of the few things in AEW that was like created there it's like you know you had a lot of things that were created elsewhere that are kind of brought there and like have gotten over there but AEW in essence has been fully created at AEW can I pitch one person I think would be perfect for your group uh no not me not me guys <laughs> you're good <laughs> Lars Fredrickson. I mean, I okay, would do Lars that. Like, okay, not, thank you. Thank I, you. I, 